Georgia Stull, Heartland Quilt Works. This video is about auditioning quilt patterns with a customer using Creative Studio 7. I find it very user friendly to um, use the software to let customers see what a variety of patterns look like. When I'm going to do an edge to edge, I think how patterns look next to each other is almost as important as just what the design is because sometimes I've seen a design and it looks okay, but when I do repeats, three say three repeats by three rows, I don't like the look. So I like to give them an idea of what's going to look like. And often when a customer calls, I will say, do you have any idea of what kind of patterns you're looking for? And let's just say a customer called and they said, I have a child's quilt. I think I want some kind of animal pattern, but I don't know for sure. So I pulled up a variety of patterns. Now, I want to audition them. And so therefore, I want to use the edge to edge function. You'll note that I have my grid on, although it can be deceptive. You don't know how big it is. It's actually set to 23 inches. And there's a reason for that for me. And that's to make it much easier for me to click out an edge to edge. So let's choose a pattern. This is a pattern by One Song Needle Arts, and let's choose edge to edge. And it wants me to click my upper left-hand corner. And I'll be honest, I put my grid snap on, and I most of the time use my point of origin. And remember I said 23 inches, that's because the depth of my quilting space. So we'll just go over three spaces. That would be, what, 70 some inches. And I'm going to come down one. Do you see how easy it makes it when I have it set for 23 inches? That's my quilting space. And I'm just going to put in an arbitrary number and let's just put in 68 inches. And just like that, the pattern is thrown onto the screen into the setup. And now I'm going to come down here, change my grid back to one inch because that helps the customer visualize better. They can see that this gap is going to be one, two, three, four inches wide. Um, it, it just helps them visualize and see how much. If they say, wow, that's a little, um, I would like it tighter. The easiest thing ever to do is to change your pattern height. And let's just make that an 11 and that will tighten it up. Now, remember, I put in 11, but it went to 11.33. That's because it will go as close to the number I put in as it can, but it must accommodate the full 68 inches. And in this case, I could still get two rows in. If I wanted it to be less dense, I would do that by making this number bigger. So let's make it 14. And I made it bigger. And so it's just that easy. Now, if I want, if they say, well, I'm not sure I like the bunny rabbits. Oh, you have cats. Let's see what that looks like. And once again, just clicking on the pattern, you see how fast it went into the screen? Just like that, it's on there. And I can play with these again. I can tell you right now, I would probably run this at least around 12. And that's nice because I can get two passes in. There's not a lot of open space, but they're not really sure. Well, let's look at Sleepy Time Bears. Now, you notice on Sleepy Time Bears that there's some gap here, and I might want to put in some vertical uh, spacing to negate some of that. The problem is this. If I choose another pattern, such as Puppy Love by K Off, look where my vertical spacing is. It goes right back to zero, which is fully appropriate for this pattern, but it might not be for another. So the case in point I want to make is if it needs a lot of vertical spacing, I don't tend to do that until they've said, yeah, this is the pattern I want. So I hope you find this to be helpful and you will use it for auditioning quilt patterns. If you enjoyed this video, you might want to consider becoming a member of the Academy. The Academy is an educational resource for Statler owners brought to you by Karen Farnsworth and Georgia Stahl. It's a wonderful community for learning a lot more about your Statler and how to use it to the fullest. If you'd like to become a member or want more information, go to wildflowerquilting.com and look for the Academy tab. Happy quilting!